to uh, come and address all of you uh, and to reconfirm the fact that uh, I have decided to uh, uh, call it a day on the international career uh, during the second test of the Indian series. Um, this was a, a commitment I had made with the previous selection committee because I had um, originally planned to retire after the World Cup from all international cricket, but uh, following uh, discussions with the uh, with the previous election committee, I gave my word that I'd be available for these two series. Um, uh, but at the same time, I said that I, I would, I would be unable to play six test matches, but I could do four. And if that was okay, um, then I'd, I'd give 100 percent of my commitment for these four test matches. So once they said that was okay, um, um, I, I, I decided that then I would extend. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my word by playing the four test matches and uh, deciding to call it an end at the end of the second test against the game. What if uh, on that uh, the generation of the events and the change of dates in the Indian ideal and why you have such a task, what's the important in your plan? Well, if I say it's two tests, it will be two tests. Yeah. So uh, I, I think the dates have already changed once, so it was four months. Um, um, hopefully it won't be postponed again, uh, but uh, yes, uh, the four test was what I originally agreed with uh, you know, before the World Cup. It was in December, just before the New Zealand series, um, and so that's that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that agreement uh, with Donna because I think um, it was a very open, you know, honest discussion that we had, and uh, I gave my word, so I'm going to stand by that. So you're you finishing off at the hour, please. I, I, I'm actually not sure whether the venues are as yet. I haven't spoken. I mean, I would love to be able to choose where I, you know, end, but that's not that's not that's not going to be possible. I think I have to just play where where the where the matches are, and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a really good test match, two test matches, or three test matches. You know, one like one one left once I go, but hopefully we'll do, we'll win the series uh, and we'll uh, we'll be able to have a really good test match and a test series. Correct. Uh, so the so far the first test is still to ball and the uh, second test is a uh, Can you just imagine the sense of disappointment for the all the campus? I know. I even, even for me, I mean, Candy is my hometown. I, I I grew up there. Uh, but like I said, you know, I watched Murli play his last test match in Gold. Murli is from Candy. Uh, we both grown up there. Uh, Candy would have loved to have said goodbye to Murli and Candy as well. But I've had, I've had so much good fortune in my career. I can't. I can't ask for everything, uh, and you know there are times when you have to just do the best you can with with what's there. Um, and if I don't get to play my last test of candy, so be it. I mean, I'll be I'll be disappointed, but that, that can't be helped. I think a lot of players um, go through the same thing. Would you play different clubs? I guess we'll play in <laughs> That would have been perfect. <laughs> where I uh, where I grew up playing cricket, but again. Um, you know, I, I remember when, when Test cricket went away from Australia, and you know, as, as a as a school, as a player, it was a bit disappointing. But I understand that you know the facilities, the quality of surface, everything matters. Um, but it's not going to be at Australia. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Any idea? And I, it's, it's quite tough to sort of capsulize your entire journey <coughs> before you do this. But if you can just capsulize your whole Test journey. I, I've had, you know, the time of my life playing for Sri Lanka. I think it's the greatest honor um, that I've uh, that I've had, um, you know, apart from my family uh, and my friends. Uh, I think, you know, growing up as a kid, watching, you know, some great Test players in Sri Lanka and uh, being a part of that that tradition. You know, I enjoy playing every format of the game, but donning the whites for for Sri Lanka has a has a special place. So I've, I've had the best of times. I've had disappointments, regrets, all of that, but at the end of the day, I can walk away very happy um, knowing that all the good times outweigh the disappointments by far. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I wish I could I could keep on playing, but I know that, that, that the time comes, you have to go. Um, and I think that this is my time. All the Sunday fans would want in the next two matches to have your, or have your best performances, but if you could just mention one or two instances that you actually loved uh, uh, having the, your innings, what would those uh, one or two instances? Well, uh, I think, you know, in Sri Lanka, it's, it's, it's a very different attitude. I think uh, 
uh, from our team to our supporters to the to the press in Sri Lanka. They take a lot of pride in winning away from home, in winning matches away from home, scoring runs away from home in, in conditions that are tough. So um, I've enjoyed every hundred that I've scored, but especially the ones I've scored away from home uh, have been have been special because uh, I don't know I don't know why that is. It does, even for us as individual players and as a team, it, it's really important that we try and do uh, well when we travel. Uh, and that's that's a real burning ambition that we have. Uh, taking wickets, scoring runs, winning matches, so all of those all those innings abroad uh, are pretty special too. So how do we visualize Sri Lanka cricket up here? I think I you know, I look at the I look at the dressing room and uh, other than for myself and Brandon and there's I think one more player in, in early 30s uh, and the rest are really young um, but uh, what's exciting is that they have a lot of a lot of talent um, and a lot of ability um, you have Angelo who's, who's, a, who's a fantastic captain fantastic cricketer I think he's, he's the ideal man to lead this uh, this team of youngsters in, in into the future um, and I just wish that there'll be a, a, a real culture of, of fearless cricket positive cricket um, where they are unafraid to make mistakes. Of course, everyone will have to be patient with them for a while, uh, because when you invest in developing a side, it will take some time to deliver, to deliver the results that we all know they can and we all want from them. Uh, but that investment is going to be worthwhile. Give them a, a period of you know 10 months to a year, and these guys will come a long way and really not just surprise a lot of people, but also uh, you know prove that the expectations are, 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 are well founded. So, so you have achieved a lot of goals as a figure and as a person. Uh, but is there anything left for you to achieve as a figure? Well, every match you play, you want to win. So every every this game as well. We, I just want to be part of a team that that can that can win. Even if we don't, we're part of a team that will pick ourselves up and go on and try and win a series. Um, so every time you go out to play, the achievement is is you know. You, as an individual player, you want to score runs, take wickets, and all of that. But as a part of the team, you want to win. So hopefully, we can do that in this test as well. And looking forward to the next test in Kandy and the and, and the test series coming ahead. You know, achievements all about that. Uh, be part of a group that takes a lot of pride in doing what they do, and and, and they and they do it well. So now, you need to make a side for the next three or four years, or whatever then. No, not, not that long. If I if I could play for that long, I could I could play for Sri Lanka for 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 a while longer. Um, I've, I've signed a two year two year contract with them, and you know my uh, my decision to play, you know, or, or my request from from the previous committee to play two tests in each series has nothing to do with, with the salary commitments because any any county understands that your national duty comes first and they are willing at any time even if I go back to them now and say listen I'm not coming back I want to play uh, you know another year with Sri Lanka but there are no issues like that because at the end of the day for a player or for anyone uh, national cricket comes first so um, but uh, I, I signed a, a two-year contract um, with Libya to come and go with, with national duty calls. Um, so um, hopefully, I, I don't know, I'll have to finish one year first to see, see how I am and then, and then make a decision for next year. Uh, where do you see yourself uh, after retirement? Uh, what's your, what are your future? Well, I don't think I can just completely stop playing, playing cricket. Uh, so I'll be playing a bit of cricket for the next year and a half to two years. Um, you know, it's, it's tough. I'm gonna miss playing for Sri Lanka. A hell of a lot, without a doubt. Um, but at the same time, you know, um, they, they, you know, the, the, the high pressure is gone. Uh, you know that, uh, you know, the, the, the whole pressure cooker atmosphere of, of, of playing a one-day match, a, a, a test match, um, all of that. And so there is a little bit of a sense of relief at times when you walk out, you know, playing for a county or playing for a franchise, where the intensity is is is, is different. Um, but you know, just to play a bit of cricket and, and, and keep in touch for a while, and then uh, and then they find a real job <laughs> after a while. Now, the next one, uh, most players uh, getting into problems and controversies with the administrations. There were teammates, fans, some of them in the media over the last 15 years. How how have you managed such an unfinished career? Well, it's 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 not an easy thing, Rex. It's a 
it's a bad thing I, I would have been lucky. When we started, you know, there was not this much pressure on young players. There was no Twitter, there was no Facebook. You know, the the the, the avenues where you're, you're you're scrutinized or the avenues where you know you, nowadays if, if you go out anywhere, you know, there's 35, 45 photographs immediately put on Facebook. Um, guys are under immense pressure to players to, to keep commenting and, and and being a part of, of social media. So when we started, it wasn't that that much of a there was there was no Twitter, there was no Facebook, basically. So we had a, a much easier time of it, I think, and, and that makes it easier. Also, I've had really good friends. Uh, I've had uh, I've got very good support from from, from, from families and uh, a lot of support from, from the public. So like I said, you know, there is always a, a sense of, of good fortune and, you know, and, and luck involved as well, but at the same time, you know, you you understand the longer you play, that the focus, as long as it remains on your cricket, everything else follows. And if if you have a good support structure, a good sense of, of, of values, then, uh, then, you, then you tend to, you know, be away from, from from all kinds of issues. Unfortunately, I can't say that I have not been in trouble with administration. <laughs> I've had a few run-ins there. Uh, but uh, I think the Sri Lanka team country is also also, also very good in that sense. Uh, and a lot of the, when I walked in, you know, the senior players, Arjuna Rangan was playing his last series. Um, Aravinda was there, Marvin, Samad, all of them were there. And Murali, Basi. You know, people who you can who, who you used to you know come and talk to you very very easily and were very approachable. Um, so I think, like like I said, I've, I've been lucky, but I've also had some very good support. Definitely, uh, Kuma. Will you have you have any regrets if you are unable to equal the dawn in your remaining test matches because you are on one test level? Yeah, I, you know, that's that's another thing that you know, that's spoken a lot about. Uh, I was asked, you know, if I play another year or two years, if I score another thousand runs, I might be the second highest run scorer, or I might be able to break the double century record. But then, when I mean, you really think about it, if, if that is the only reason why you want to, to play more, more test cricket or, or prolong your career, uh, you know, that those are things that you can be proud of as an individual. But then, if that is the only driving uh, driving ambition, that maybe. It is really, really time to say thank you very much. Um, I think I've always uh, prided myself on, on performing well for the side as an individual, but at the end of the day, I want to be a part of a, I want to be able to, you know, look my teammates in the eye and say that I went out there because I, I really want to do well for the side and I really wanted us to win and it was nothing to do with individual records. Um, I can do that right now um, and I think. Uh, Extended my career for a year it doesn't make make a lot of sense. Two to three years maybe, but then then I'll be forty, <laughs> which is too long. So I think that when you really weigh everything up, this is the this is the time to go. Andrew, come on. Uh, you mentioned taking pleasure from your overseas uh, performances. Can you walk us through one or two that stood out for you? I think uh, my first. Uh, well, I, 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 the third test. Uh, at Centurion against South Africa in my second test. I had to open in the second innings and I batted through. I was 98. Uh, uh, I hope I won't get in trouble with the ICT, but I got a, a pretty bad decision. <laughs> uh, on 98, batting with Ruchira Perra on the, on the other end. Uh, and that was a very important innings for me because I played against a really tough pace attack. Quick wickets. Uh, and that was probably the first time I thought, okay, maybe I can. I can become a test player because my first test series in Sri Lanka was I had a terrible time and couldn't score more than 20 runs in, in six innings. My high score was 23 or something like that. Um, so that that was really important for me to understand. I can go abroad. I can face really tough bowling and well come up well, come up not on top but at least deal with it in, in a manner that was that was good. Um, and then of course. Uh, you know, scoring a century against Australia, uh, which I managed to do in Hobart. I had a, a great two hat trick injury. I came back after 16 days um, and managed to get a hundred in Hobart. Losing course, unfortunately, but again, again, you want to take a lot of. Uh, everyone wants to score runs against Australia because you consider them the tougher side. Uh, but also, uh, my first hundred in England uh, uh, at the Rose School was very, very satisfying because England, I've always found tough to to bat in. 
I watched uh, Marvin score, Dilshan, Mahela, Arabinda, <coughs> Sanat scored this magnificent double century, and you, you know, I watched all of these players. And, you know, when I found it difficult, I thought, you know, it's, it's, this is a tough place to score runs in. Um, so I had to come to terms with not just conditions, but also my own expectations. So when I did that uh, at the Rose Bowl, that was also very satisfying. Uh, how can you see? How can we see Sangha after your retirement from the international cricket team as a coach, commentator, analyst? I think I'll make a bad coach. Uh, you know, coaching is a tough job, uh, um, and it takes a special kind of. It's not, it's it's, uh, it's never about what you really know. It's about how you handle a, a lot of players. So I don't know whether I'll have the patience to, to deal with, with with individuals in that manner, um, but. Uh, you know, I, I think every cricketer who's gone from Sri Lanka, um, are, they're always available to, to, to be of service at any time, to give whatever they can back to the sport. Uh, so, you know, I'll be available at any time uh, for, you know, if there's anything ever needed of me. Cricket's given me so much, uh, and Sri Lankan cricket especially has given me, um, you know, everything that I have right now. So. Uh, I owe you a, a, a very deep debt of gratitude and I'll be available at any time to serve it uh, uh, when they see when and if they see fit uh, to call on me. Rex, what's the status of the Patriots? Well, I think there have been about four, uh, all the World Cup finals that we, we didn't cross the line. You know, that's, you know, the question about regrets, you have so many regrets when you play, but at the end of the day, you know, regrets are something that you should be able to live with. Um, uh, when you look back upon those instances, you know that you you, you tried your best. You you, you, uh, you wish you'd be on the other side, but, but you can't help it. And imagine, if, you know, if I can walk away with two fifty over World Cup wins, three T Twenty World Cup wins, you know, that would be amazing. But, but not to be. Um, and but I've been a part of some some very special teams. I've watched Arvind the bat. I've watched uh, Arjuna. Uh, in the side, I've watched uh, Sanat Jaisuri back, I've watched uh, Marvin Akbar, I've watched Murli and Basi go, uh, you know, amazing spells on, on and Basi especially on third tracks in, in Sri Lanka. Um, so I've been a part of a part of the team that's had some very, very special players. Rangana Hera, uh, you know, who would have thought looking at Rangana, you know, that the record he has is unbelievable. Um, and I've been a part of some, some special wins. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there, there are sad days, but like I said, a lot of, a lot of better days, a lot of good days that I can remember. Last question, Some in English. Uh, how difficult was it for you to try to find a way of your mind in the two of the song, in two of the it's, um, it's a funny thing, Sarah, because I didn't, everyone knows that the time is right. The real thing is, the real thing is to, is to decide <laughs> Whether you are going to listen to that voice in your head or you're trying to, you're going to ignore it. Uh, it's very easy to ignore. Trust me, it's, it's not easy to, you know, say, okay, I'm going to finish because for 15 years this is all I've known, this is all I've done. So it's a bit scary as well to, to think of time when you know, you're not playing for Sri Lanka. You know, what are you going to do? Um, but you know, my father asked me a couple of years ago in, in Candy. My father asked me a couple of years ago in Candy uh, when I was at home with him and he asked me, don't you think it's it's time to start a thinking about retirement? And I, I got a shock. <laughs> I thought, what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> I'm not good enough. Uh, but then when he asked me that question and I came back home, I was speaking to my wife and it actually made, made some sense because it was 2012, 13, almost there. When he asked me that, it actually struck home maybe it is time that I really pay attention to, to what's happening. Um, and then uh, when I had my back injury against the and I came back and I realized, you know, this is going to be my last World Cup. Um, and uh, I it, it just kind of felt that this was, you know, I, the voice was there for a little while. It was there for maybe the, the South Africa series. Um, uh, where, where Mahela decided to retire uh, and just friend because I just decided before him to, to start writing a letter where he called me and told me that the team was, I said, okay, that's fine, you can't have two people going at the same time. Uh, 
so, uh, but that voice was, you know, was telling me. So I decided to to, to listen to it. So I spoke to I spoke to my father, spoke to uh, uh, to my family, uh, and I think uh, my wife told me, you know, that playing for Sri Lanka would be great for us as a family because that means I'll be spending a year at home. But even she felt that it was it was time for me to, to call it a day. So. Um, when I when I hear that, uh, I, I, I I realize that that's absolutely the right position for me to make. Thank you, gentlemen, for the English questions. Kuma, Vishwam, I am again a poor singer. Oh, Mama, India, no, Tanga, Bali, there is just again Vishwam and Sir Nekalam, Sir Nekalam, they are the year they were. Yeah, over the December, March, and Sri Lanka, together, Mama, Bangla, Jammu. ये पार्लिमेंट तो विशेष वाद संघ माध्य साक्षात चाहती है ना सामाने उद्वाप पेशी का उन्हें क्यों है पास सितमा ये क्यों नहीं किया हाँ ना मैं मामा आ इंडिया इंडिया लोग तारा का वाले तारा देखे रहते हैं ना इतने चांदा रहते हैं ना मैं देखा कि हन्ना मार रहे हैं इकहाँ तो वहीं तरह ने देश पाल ने तो सुधु सुकाते हैं ना मुझे मामा इसके अंदर जो आते हैं मामा तब तारा का वाले देखा कहाँ क्रिकेट टीम आते हैं कब दाव में आए किला तो क ओ मामे इधर ने कहूँ रात को तो नया किया ना उन्होंने मुझे देखे हुए हैं कि वो हमारा सफल था तो विनाशिलाती मधीर होने का तो मामा किया ने मामा मागे बालामर उत्तर ने देश पाल दे ने मामे इधर ने मागे अलावा ना वो नया विद्या की तमांगे करता है मतलब फिर भी डाउन का समाज तक दो कराना पड़ा तमांगे